Alright friends, this is the Fide Master Alessandro Santagati and in this video we'll see the end game rook against knight. Usually this kind of game it's a draw, especially when king and the knight are close. Um, it's very important when you are the defender, stay with the knight close to the king, because if your knight is far, you risk to lose the knight, and if you lose the knight, you lose your game. So that's very important. We can do an example about that. This position, it's a draw, but now show a position which you can lose if your knight is far. For example, now uh, the knight is far on a one from the king, and white can play to win this, ga this end game, trapping the knight and then win the game king and the rook against king. Uh, now the knight can go not only three because there is the rook, but maybe the knight can go to c2, because for this time this square is free. But you can simply block it with the rook c3, and after that the knight is trapped. And also, if the king tried to help, uh, it can't. It can't because after king c4, king e5, and rook c1, the knight is lost because now the king can help with the, um, controlling uh, the square b3, and the knight is lost. And for this reason, now white is winning. Um, so that's very important. Remember the. Knight must go close to the king. If the knight is far, you risk to lose this knight, and it could be an easy example. Okay, we go forward. Before I say that usually when king and knight are close, it will be a draw. But I said usually. Uh, why this? Because, for example, in this position, in which the knight is on the corner, white can win this end game because we can exploit also the idea about the Zuzuang. Uh, for example, we can imagine that now it's black to play and knight is blocked, p6 is not possible, and if c7, I will play check and then I will take this knight. So for example, knight here, check, the king is forced to go away and I can simply take it. So for this reason, maybe it's forced only king a7, and now I can simply play rook b2. I'm blocking the black pieces because c7 is not possible and b6 is not possible because the two squares are covered by my king and if you play king a6 there is the checkmate so white is winning now so in this position in which the knight and the king are blocked white can have a chance to win so you need to have the knight close to the king but at the same time you need to have space to move your knight because if your knight we be with all squares, you risk lose your end game. We can do another interesting position. We can see we can see another position about that. For example, now king and knight are there, and uh, this knight is free to go to d6 or to d8. Why now can we win now with the rook d1? This move is very strong because it can block the two squares. And now the black is forced to move the king, and uh, or king b8 or king a8. Okay, I think king a8 is very bad because now I can play for the checkmate, and uh, if this move I can play rook d7, and now white is winning because the knight is blocked. And um, so I think king b8 is much better for black. But now a very important move for white is. Uh, King c6 because in this way um, the simple threat is rook b1 the threat is uh, uh, win the knight uh, if king a8 is very easy because we can play rook a1 check king b8 and now rook b1 and we won the knight if king a8 for sure don't take immediately the knight because there is the stalemate but you can simply play king c7 and you can play is to take the knight and is for the checkmate. So if king here, I don't take the knight now and I play checkmate in this way. Knight here, and I win the game immediately. So that's very nice. And um, so, yeah, if king uh, b8, there is simply king c6. King c6, and this move is winning. If king c8, no problem for white, because I can play rook c1. And uh, now, black has to move something. If knight a5 check, king b5 and I win the knight immediately. If knight d8 check, 
I can play king d6 check, now it's forced to move the king, for example, uh, b7. And now I can play king d7, the knight has to go away, I play and now uh, rook c5. The knight now can't, cannot help because it's, uh, it's blocked. And the one, for example, king here, I play rook h5, I cover all the square for the knight. And when, for example, king again to b7, I can simply play king e7, and I can simply play to win this knight. So that's very nice. So you can force the, the knight to go away. So rook d1 is very important, then king c6. Maybe, yeah, because now it's forced to move the king, so king c6. Uh, maybe black can try to play knight a5 immediately. Just check, but now I play king b6. And now, black can try to play in check. I can try to follow the knight. The knight can go, okay, if a3, not a problem, because now we can play to trap this knight. The knight is without squares. And uh, maybe only c2, but if c2, now I play is for the checkmate, and is to take the knight, because my simple threat is play Checkmate in one move, uh, and um, to avoid that you must play king c8, then rook c1, and then win the knight. So that's very nice. Um, so yeah, a king a knight a5 can be an option, but after king b6, knight c4, and uh, king b5, no moves. Maybe knight e5 can be another option, but in this position play rook e1. Now the knight is under attack. And the only square uh, to be close to the black king is d7. But in this case, I play king c6, the knight is under attack. And um, it's impossible king c8 for the checkmate. So the knight must go far. And now I can play, for example, uh, rook to e5. I'm blocking, blocking the squares. And uh, if I don't know, king a7, to do an example about that, I can play to attack this knight. I can force this knight to go in the side. And, uh, and uh, after, for example, knight to h5, now the knight can go here, here. And first I play check, then king a6. And after that, I can play rook f7. And now the, the knight, is blocking the squares, the only square is this, but if now uh, g5, there is this nice trick, and I win the knight again. So for example, and if king a5, I win the knight in this way, and uh, yeah, so no moves for, uh, for, um, for black. I know that this last position is not so easy, uh, but uh, the, imp the important is remember the idea when the knight is far, we can play to win, and this can be a nice example. So, in the starting position, king and knight are close, but uh, white can exploit the idea that for this time, black is with a few squares. So, with this attack with the, um, with the rook d1, can force the knight to go away, and after that, white can play to win. Okay, very well, for this video is all. Thank you for the attention. If you have questions, feel free to comment below in the comment, and see you for the next video. Bye. Remember to follow me on social networks, and share the video with your friends. Thanks.